Congratulations on an amazing show. I really, really enjoyed it. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you. I love seeing a South African version of Christmas stories. I feel like we're getting more and more of them, especially with Netflix. And it's just amazing because it's also, it's summer. It's something we can relate to on our side of the world. Um, why do you think it's important, Katlejo, to have South African Christmases represented on our screens? Mm. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Um, like any other form of representation, you need to see yourself and you see something that you relate to. And it's it's all beautiful when we see the snow and the, you know, snow. What is it? Snowman? Yeah. Snowman and all of that. It's beautiful to see. And it's like, oh, that's so nice. That's so pretty. But there's something so special about seeing your own story right in front of you, especially when I guess right now with the way Christmas stories are, you're so used to the white Christmas, the snow. <laughs> you're so used to the white Christmas. Um, and, and with this, at least, you know, you see, like I see my family in this family. And I think that's so beautiful. Mm. We are getting to share ourselves as South Africans with the world. Plat platforms like Netflix have helped to bring the world even closer mm. because mm. we've always been influenced by other cultures outside of mm. ourselves. Mm. But now we get to show people that we are we are actually the same things. We, mm. we, we strive for love. We strive for happiness. We strive for family. We strive for understanding and compassion. Everything that we've always seen in, in stories from the Western, we have it too. And, and now they get to see who we are, you know, and, and how relatable we are. You know, we are, mm. it's just one people, really. Mm. The magic of Christmas is here. Ang nazo meningane, or a man. A fact Uma likes to remind me of every chance she can get. Tiffany, as a creator, with your, along with your husband as well, what is it like seeing this whole thing come together on screen? I always say, like, not in a weird way, but when you imagine the voices in your head and then you actually get to see them, you get these incredible actors, these incredible talents who breathe life into the voices that you've heard for so long. It's kind of like giving birth. Like, it is like such a serotonin boost and it's it's even better than I could have imagined. I have a boyfriend everyone. Christmas Eve. Who's I buy? For 24 days with a trolley boyfriend. So it's on. Right. What did you do? I want to find out what each of your challenge, most challenging scenes were to shoot. Um, I know you guys had a very interesting spa day scene that was quite fun. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the spa day scene was, was quite challenging. Um, yeah. But it ended up being a lot of fun, actually. I, I will say I was quite nervous. If you're going to do a scene that requires a little bit of, of skin, it's mm -hmm. always like, I hope we're all relaxed. And, and it was great. Mm -hmm. It was great. She was um, decent. <laughs> I was like, oh my I God. had you. I had you. Give me a I had you. I did have you. No rooms? Yeah. And what does a typical Christmas day look like for each of you, whether you celebrate or not? I love her, but she's crazy. Music and you're being shot at. Get the thing, get the. <laughs> and scones. Custard, <laughs> jelly. By the end of it, you're like, oh, that's what she was doing. Singing, dancing, and be merry. <laughs> I love it. At the end of the day, is that um, there is fun, mm. there is joy, irrespective of, of other things, you know, circumstances. So it's just pure love, if I may put it that way. That's how I discovered father christmas doesn't exist mm. i stayed up the whole night i was excited i i was my dad opened the door and threw stuff in the room i said that's my dad's hand <laughs> so he <laughs> ruined my christmas dad, yeah yeah so there were never christmas trees where we would go ah, eh. my parents did it gorilla style 4 a.m <laughs> throw some gifts in there when they wake up say Ooh, father christmas did it did you, did you, can i hug no. you <laughs> You are going to enjoy the Ben 10 benefits. I mean, more like Ben 5. I'm going to say so. I'm going to say so. What's your most? What's your most? Tiffany, what can we expect when we sit down to watch 
this series. The minute you see Katlejo, who plays Tando on screen, you're going to fall in love, right? Absolutely. How lucky we are to have found our leading lady. Yeah. Because that's the trick to an amazing rom-com, yeah. is falling in love with the person who's the lead. And then you're going to be introduced to her family, where you're going to fall in love. You're going to have opinions, as she dates, <laughs> as one does. Um, and you're just going to go on a journey with us. And you're going to be, by the end of it, I hope you're filled with hope. Because that was also one of the things I very, very desperately with an amazing team of writers wanted to achieve. The world seems hopeless at the moment. And to bring joy and hope to people and escape just for six episodes. That's my Christmas present to the world. And finally, um, do you each have a film that, or film or series or show, or whatever, that you watch usually around Christmas time? That's just one of your all-time favorites. Home Alone. Me too. Dinner, di- was it? Oh, Dinner, Dinner for, for One. Dinner for One. Yeah. Like, I grew up watching Dinner for One for years. Every Christmas day you knew yeah. Dinner for One. And this man does the same thing over and over. But it became like part of the culture at my home. Yeah, Home Alone is a classic. Home Alone's yeah. it for You me. can never go wrong with Home Alone. <laughs> I don't I don't remember a Christmas where I don't either like leading up to Christmas, don't watch Home Alone. Oh, that's my movie. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. Yeah, I agree. I think I'm yeah, gonna yeah, it's a classic. It's a classic. Yeah. And hopefully in future it'll be your Christmas. You can stay. <laughs> <laughs> I just wish I had a look of fish. I'm going to go to my little boyfriend. Carpet, dear, my girl. Or rather, carpet, your penis. Mm-hmm.